Hi everybody, it's Lainey. I thought I'd uh, do a quick tutorial to show you how to do this card. So I've posted it on the Facebook page. I've had so, so many people asking me how to do it with a little swirl, so I thought I'll give it a go. I'm not much good at doing the trees, uh, as in the big one here, but bear with. Uh, I'm afraid Crafty Cat is the queen of trees, however. I'll give it a go and see how we get on. I mean, this one was literally potluck. So I'll show you what we need. So first and foremost, a piece of card, five and a half inches by five and a half inches. Inks, we're literally just using Versifying Claire uh, Twilight. Stamps. So we're using the Pine Panorama Small Tree, uh, the two branches from Nicicles and Icicles, Homemade Mask. Tools, literally I just have a couple of stencil brushes. Signo Pen, this is the white Signo I use for the stars and swirls to draw them on. And this is the uh, pan pastel that I use to get the, you know, like the uh, chalky effect. And that's all it is really. It's just in, it looks like a makeup compact. But that's what I'll be using once I've done the stamping. Okay. So let's get started. So grab a piece of card. Right, so it's really bright in here, so I'm having to concentrate to make sure I'm in focus of the camera. So first and foremost, we'll get the moon mask down. And the large brush. And then we'll start applying the ink. So not too heavy. I'm holding the moon mask because it's had a few a few uses. So I'm literally going around the moon mask, starting the corners when you dab uh, your brush onto your ink pad before you put it to your paper, or as I always say, which I will do today, I'm not doing it on my dab off on a piece of scrap. So literally go around that. Keep inking till you're happy with your shading and how much that you've got on. So that's the inking done. Okay, yep, still in focus. Right, so now we're going to start the stamping. As I say, bear with because I'm not great at these. So we only did this, it's as I say it turned out it turned out okay. But uh I'm not the best at using these branches. So we'll give it a go anyway. So I'm taking this stamp first, the group stamp, and I'm literally gonna get the twilight again and I'm gonna start stamping the tree. Oh, remove the moon mask done with that now don't need that and what I'll do I've got some blue left on my brush so I'm literally just going to very lightly swirl around so it's not just to take the whiteness off okay so let's start okay, we'll do the first one about there it's kind of random stamping actually doing it using the twilight okay 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with the other one, smaller branch. Just want that ink off, there it is. And this one, I'm just going to do random stamps, really. Just to fill in all the gaps. It just covers it. We'll turn it round. We've got a couple of branches sticking out. Okay, so I'm going to leave it up oh, just at the bottom bit. So I'll leave it at that. Then, so that's the tree done. Then I'm coming to the tree from the pine panorama set. It's a small fir tree. Get that on the block. So ink that up. Just do a couple here. And then a couple over this side. And that's it really. So I'm going to get my heat gun. quickly put the heat gun over it's very weird sorry about the noise so what I did then for the big tray because obviously this that you can see bits of white I don't think it really matters if I'm really honest but I just went over I didn't put any more um ink on my brush but just kind of shaded it in so that there's no white gaps anywhere. So that's that. Then we come to the snow. And it is literally... Scrap piece of paper. It is literally scribbling. Now, with the white, I find that you have to... With this Signo pen, sorry, I find that you have to kind of scribble off onto a scrap piece of paper because it like it it's almost like it stops if that makes sense so scribble off do a few squiggles and all this is is literally just squiggles it's nice to let some of the blue show through the twilight ink because i think it's more effective so you do that for all all your little trays. So I'm not going to do all of them. This is just to give you some idea. I'll do these three. Obviously it shows up better, doesn't it, on the darker. On the darker background. So it's literally really just just squiggly. That's all I do anyway, and it seems to work. So, because obviously snow, if you think about it in nature, snow would literally just fall, wouldn't it? Anywhere it would land anywhere. Okay, so with regards to the big tray, so we'll look at doing the swell. Oh, that's where I forgot to tell you. We need a cotton bud as well normal cotton bud 
So we'll get this. This be careful about this because it goes. You can see this. Look, look at the bits in it. It goes everywhere. So I just kind of dab it onto an old cotton cotton wool ball. And then we're going to draw. It's almost like drawing it. So dip, dab, till you've got, you know, the kind of shape that you want. I did try and do it with a cotton, with a cotton wool ball, but um, it was too much. It was too thick. So I found this, you've got a little bit more control because it can be really messy. They just go round, literally. I'm going over this and over it. And then bring it round again, round, round near the bottom. I think maybe my last tree might have been a little bit taller. So you might want to make your tree slightly taller. And just keep doing that until you're happy, you know, with how much you've got on there. And how thick. The band is going round. I'll do another one there. It looks a bit bare, doesn't it? And as I say, it takes a little bit of time. Obviously. I'm just showing you quickly because we're a bit time restricted with videos. I end up getting cut off, and you'll be you'll be left wondering how it was finished. So that is literally all I've done. So once that's done, bear with me. In the conservatory, guys, and it's so hot, it feels like it's about 90 degrees in here. I think maybe I should have done this a bit later when it cooled down, but I wanted to do it because it's a shame everybody's been asking. Right, okay, so that's a swirl. Now, what I did then, I got some literally, you know, some rip paper, just rip it gently. Copy a paper, and then what I did, I put one with where there's a dip, and I put it under the tree, and then I got my smaller, if I can find it, and I got my ink, my ink brush, and literally just run along, and you say it gives you the effect that it's kind of buried in the snow. So once that's done, do the bottom of this one. Just gives it a bit of shading. I mean, obviously you guys can take a little bit more time. And then what I did, I literally, this is just another piece of root. And then what I did, I just made some, some little tufts in the snow to make it look, look a bit more, you know, alive. Just rub your brush, don't have to put loads of ink on, literally. But I think it looks quite pretty when you put these on. Trouble is I like to carry on. So that's enough. I won't do any more of that. 
So that's how you do that. So now we come to the um, snow. So what I, what I did, I kind of worked down. So I just put a bit of scrap paper over the tree. Did my squiggles. Scrub it off. So I did my squiggles so you got bits of snow. And then I'll start doing little dots. I'm just checking you can see. Is that better? So I started doing little dots. And then smaller dots. Just random. And then I did a star. And again, smaller dots around there. And some more dots. And then just carry on doing the dots. And I'll do another star here or a twinkle. I'm going to need a new pen. Do some more little dots around, around the twinkle. Then some more snow. And you carry on doing your snow. Just so it, it's nice and bright. Like I say, make sure you leave some of the blue because it looks lovely when you've got some of the blue showing through. You don't want it all white because it kind of makes it look a bit rubbishy. Then we'll start with the big dots again or bigger dots. Smaller dots, just dab it. You know, like when you're doing like snow on your cards, literally just do that. And we'll have another I'll get this blooming pen to work, bear with. So we'll have another swirl here. There you go. And more little dots. And we'll do some more dots. So just vary your dots in size because it does make a difference. It looks quite pretty when you do small and big dots. And you literally do this all the way around the back. <coughs> Pardon me. Back to the snow. Get the snow back on. Get your squiggles in. Keep doing that. And then let me lift it up so you can see. Can you see what I've done? That is literally all you need to do, look. So I'll carry on and do it. So that's that one, done the squiggles, so we'll do a couple of big dots here. As I say, you'll need to run your pen off because we're doing it over chalk as well and it's not the best. So I'm going to put a star here. Sorry about the planes, guys. I'm right by the airport. <laughs> Some bigger 
dots, lots of little dots. We'll do another star. Oh, let's swing this off. So we'll do another star. And then more dots. And then we'll finish off with the more snow at the bottom. Just squiggles, literally. And that's your swirls. Well, what I did on the other one, I did some uh, just like, well, baubles really. And I thought, well, I didn't want to put any other colours in. I think the blue and white's enough. So I just did some random, really big circles. And I thought that looked quite nice. It brightened it up even more. So just random ones. Although the tray could be a bit better, I'm not going to lie. Okay, and that's that one. Right, bear with me one second. I'm having to wipe my glasses. It's so hot in here. I'm so sorry. Right, okay. So that's that bit done. Those are your swirls. And then what I did up here, I thought it would just look nice, just have it looking bare. Let me make sure you're in shot. Okay, just have it looking bare. Thought I'd do it a couple more. Like little sparkles up here. And then I do random biggish. And then just tiny dots. Just to pretty it up. So I'll we'll turn the card round. I did one there. More dots. Dots are great fillers, you know. People don't use them enough, in my opinion. I love put that. I think dots can make everything so pretty. I love to put them on my trees. You know, when I'm stamping the cardio uh, tree stamps. I mean, you can turn a winter tree into a summer tree. You know, with different colours. You know, Posca pens often do that too. It really makes them look pretty. And then the smaller dots. Not too many. We'll do one more here. And then again, just random. And then some smaller ones. So, can you see those? So I've done them. There's a the swirl again. Okay, so I might as well put the snow on these now because they look really odd, don't they? So just squiggles. We put a bit of a little bit of white on the dark but don't completely cover it, that's a secret. And then you're done. And the last one. Scribble off. Mm. 
and there you go that's it that's your card done and what I normally do I've got so you can either I've got this old little blender and this is what I use I literally get my card just making sure you're in shot and I literally do that all the way around and that gives you a line or if you're brave enough would do it before you do you start your work literally can you say the, that it gives it a nice little edge so you could do that you see the edge I'll show you on the voice you can see the edge better on there so do that or you can uh, you can get your brush and gently ink around the edges or as I said if you're brave enough you can use a sharpie so literally put it on some scrap paper and literally run your sharpie down it but be very careful because they slide and they go really quick so do it before you start and that way at least you haven't done all your work anyway I'm going to stop yapping now so there is your little swirl tray I hope it's been of some help because so many of you have asked me how I do it so I'm going to leave you now to go and practice and please 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 have a go put it up I'll, I'll get so excited when somebody's watched a video and put that you know have a go the sales and put it up so doesn't matter what you think honestly don't be worrying everyone's lovely on cardio just pop them on and let us all see right I'm going to leave you in peace then. So I'll speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.